guys and I know it's probably the majority of you out there are like where's the fucking Mustang bro I thought this was a Mustang channel bro like was the fucking Mustang content bro I get it guys so as you can see we are at the shop today and I know what you're thinking holy fuck where does beard go well obviously it's gone so picked up a, uh, a cat bag for the EcoBoost uh, here's the the factory system the uh, cat back is already on <coughs> but uh, it's all just clamped on I wanted to make sure we like the sound of it and everything uh, today I'm gonna make a couple adjustments and uh, weld it all up rather than the, the clamps so it's a uh, MBRP 4 inch cat back Just the uh, aluminized steel, because I wasn't sure if we were gonna like the sound of the V6 or not. Uh, it doesn't have that awesome fucking coyote sound, but it does have twin turbos, and you do get to hear the turbo whistle now. So, uh, yeah, pretty happy with it. <coughs> gonna uh, make a couple adjustments, weld it up, make it permanent. Let's do this. So, uh, like I said, MBRP 4 inch. Let's get the straight through muffler design. Uh, this is one of the things that I want to change is, as you can see, this hanger uh, doesn't really make it all the way through. It's only about halfway in there. And the hanger is actually part of the clamp. The clamp is as far forward as I can get it. And it's still, as you can see, only a little bit into the uh, the hanger there. There is another hanger back there and another one back there on the tailpipe. So it's not gonna fall off if I leave it like that. But what I'm gonna do is uh, 
use the hanger portion of the clamp, weld that joint, uh, and I'll move the hanger portion up further so that it's actually all the way through that uh, isolator. So yeah, go back here. This one's pretty good. Uh, I'll probably just leave that one. <coughs> um, the hanger sits right where it should. Um, I probably won't weld that one just because it'll make it that much easier to take on and off if I need to. Look at the size of this piping though. It's fucking gigantic. Four inches serious. But uh, when you get a boosted 3.5 liter, you know, you need all the flow you can get. Now, granted, it's not going to flow completely free because it's still got factory uh, downpipes and cats on it. But uh, who knows? That might that might change soon. We'll see.
right, guys. Check it out. So, not the prettiest looking welds, but not half bad, you know. Just a quick little fucking quick and dirty job here. Got that hanger converted over so it's not a bolt on anymore. And it's not a clamp anymore because it's welded. So, plenty of protruding through the isolator. Should do much better. And uh, now we're going to do a quick adjustment on the tailpipe. I want to hang it up a little bit more. This uh, exhaust is the piping here. Ugh. The piping is so big on this exhaust. When I installed it, I had the, the truck on the two post lift. So the suspension was at full droop. This leaf spring, it actually, when the, when the suspension's at droop, is down here. And it was keeping me from bringing this exhaust up. So I'm gonna loosen up the clamp for the tailpipe and I'm gonna swing it up a little bit because I want it up a little bit more. I've got a five inch tip coming for this uh, and I don't want it fucking drooping way down here. I think that looks retarded. So, quick adjustment of this and then we'll be all done. Just like that. And I may weld this um, in the future. You can get it all out as one piece. It's just more of a convenience thing if I ever have to uh, remove it to do any sort of work. Um, I don't want to weld it right now because I don't have the tip here and I want to make sure I like where it comes out, uh, you know, with the tip on there. I like where it's at right now, but if with the five inch tip, uh, being a little bit bigger if it's up too close to here. I don't want that and if it's still a little bit too low I might modify it a little bit more, but that looks great right there for now I almost kind of like it without a tip, but it's just Inside the bed uh, It doesn't qu quite come out far enough um, so tips on the way the tip that is coming is also MBRP. It is a double wall, five inch straight cut. Uh, so it should look nice and clean. Uh, won't be here till tomorrow. Uh, I may hold off on the upload uh, and the editing until uh, I can get that installed. Hey guys, and I know it's probably the majority of you out there are like, where's the fucking Mustang, bro? I thought this was a Mustang channel, bro. Like, it was the fucking Mustang content, bro. I get it. I, I'm, I'm dying to drive the car. Um, as you can see, I live in New England. We have like four to five months of shit fucking weather every year. And uh, we're in the middle of that right now. Another month or so, the car will be back out. I'm dying to drive it. I'm, I'm literally having horsepower withdrawals. So I'm over here at the storage unit, um, dropping off the stock exhaust off the pickup. Uh, the four inch, sounding great. Nice and tucked up. Um, just so you guys know, I didn't get rid of the car. It's in here with my old man's vet. There she is, the beast, my baby, soon enough dear, soon enough. So yeah, there it is, a little Mustang update for you, um, just be patient guys, uh, I'm, I'm sorry, you know, I, I, I legitimately wish I lived somewhere other than Maine. Uh, 
almost every winter for the majority of the winter but right now I can't move away a lot of my uh, family's up here uh, my immediate family is all up here my friends all live in the area my shops here I can't just leave uh, so we're dealing with it for now fortunately the Mustangs not a real champ in the snow I've had to drive it in the snow a couple times it's fucking scary okay so anyways we will uh, have some Mustang content soon I promise I promise I even have new mods for it already waiting to be installed be patient bear with me guys all right so there it is the uh, MBRP five inch double wall straight cut tip to finish off the exhaust sorry I didn't uh, film when I put it on it was already dark out she had just got home from work I had just got home from work and it was uh, pretty s simple I mean it's got one bolt that pinches it onto the pipe I did trim like uh, I don't know probably three maybe four inches off so that it would slide up far enough and there wouldn't be any protruding through yes it's filthy I have a dirt driveway all the snow and ice and bullshit's all melting so it's already nasty and dirty but uh, let's hear how it sounds deep rumble to it a little bit of turbo noise I'm happy with it she's happy with it all right that's it for this one we'll uh, catch you guys in the next one